Okay, so we're back at it again with another reaction video, and today they just dropped uh, the Shin Megami Tensei 5 story trailer. So I'm gonna be checking it out. Uh, my first time seeing it, I you know I'm late to the party because this has been out for a couple hours at this point. But hey, got life, got things outside of gaming, YouTube, and all that. So yeah, wife and kid. But anyway. Uh, we're gonna dive into it and check out the story trailer because there's a lot of things I've been curious about from the initial trailer from the E3 presentation as well and now I just want to see more so uh, if it's your first time here I'm Mikhail Casanova Hawaii content creator host of Hawaii's number one podcast the Casanova podcast and um, yeah if you enjoy streams, reactions, reviews of games, anime, interviews with the game and tech industry, and so much more, then you're here in the right place. If you want to support what we do as well, we have Patreon as well as channel memberships and uh, all that out the way. Let's go ahead and get into this reaction. でも、それを払いのけたのは私。正しい道を進むには力が必要だ。神の禁じた力か。ほら、見て。東京が終わっていく。僕らがトンネルに飲み込まれた。東京に一体何が起こったんだ。悪魔が住む魔界と化した。そして悪魔たちは人の魂を奪おうとして襲ってきているの。東京を守るために戦う。それがベテルの日本支部、すなわち我々と。Okay, その技。我らの I forget those five. Akuma Kara Tokyo, Mamorino, Zetani Tadashi Kododa. My was a chishing of Motte de Kirio. Korema de no Shungi or Hinga, you are Jin Daita. Boka, Pewani Sugos, Hitobito, Mamorutame, better in Kyoko State and Daga.彼を巻き込んでしまった。俺、やっぱり無理だ。東京を守ることかな。私は君が人間のために行動しているのだと思っていたのだが、それは間違いか。何時がそれをなせ。あの声も言っていたじゃないか。神々が見守る新しい秩
So uh, I'm assuming Lucifer is going to play another pivotal plot in the plot line, but he's a key part of three and four. But it seems like he might have a bigger role because it's interesting. They're obscuring him here. I'm wondering why is that? Why aren't you just showing Lucifer? I feel like they've shown him before in one of the other trailers, but, you know, <sighs> mm, I, I want to know where this fits into the Amala network. Because uh, for those who don't know, if you are a Persona purely fan, and we have to quantify that, we have to break that down because Persona fans, there's a split in, in the fandom, right? I know this is an SMT video, and I'm talking about Persona, but Persona is part of SMT. It's part of the Amala network. It's, yeah. Anyway, uh, you have a lot of people who are Persona 5 fans, Persona 4 and 5 fans, or maybe Persona 3, 4, and 5 fans. Not really Persona overall fans. So they're probably going to go into this game and expect us to play like Persona 5 or 4, and they're going to get their asses handed to them because this game, this, you know, SMT is just brutally hard. Now, granted, I do think they're going to make some type of adjustments to the difficulty to make it more balanced because if this comes out just as raw dog as SMT 3 was, whoo, you're going to have it. it I'm going to see, I'm guaranteeing, a lot of Persona 5 fans are going to bury this game. Now, what I do find interesting, like I said, getting back to SMT 5. Okay, clearly, Lucifer. There's no doubt about that. You can tell the, that's the cloth he usually has around him. That's his wings. That's his feet. It's claws. That's Lucifer. So he's pivotal to the plot somehow. Then, what I'm also looking at... Who is this guy? At first, you know, when they first showed him off, I think the second trailer or third trailer, a lot of us speculated, oh, maybe this is the Demi Fiend. I don't think this is the Demi Fiend. I think they kind of confirmed that this is not the Demi Fiend. Who is this person? What is this, uh, you know, this armor, ability, magic, whatever. I, I got questions. I need to know who this is. A lot of intrigue. And... The thing about this, what route is he? Is he law, chaos, neutral, chaotic, neutral, lawful, neutral? Like, what, what route is he? I'm going to assume this guy is law. My assumption. I could be wrong. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think he's law. I think he's a law route. Then again, if I remove him from the equation, it's typically, you know, lay, law, chaos, neutral. She could be the law route. She seems to be the goody goody, so she could be the law route. And then there's that other character. Let me see if I can find him. He, look at him. He looks like the chaos route. I don't know. I don't know. Guarantee we're going to have the three routes. I don't think they're going to ditch. If they get rid of the law, chaos, and neutral routes uh, in this game, it's not SMT anymore. I don't think they're going to do that. But have you noticed like the production value for this trailer and for the last couple trailers has been incredibly high? So as much as Atlas has been just pouring out persona left and right they've put they're putting a lot into this this trailer like i'm shocked at the amount of effort they're putting into this and then you got this scene let's see no not there i want this power explained i want to know why why do you look like that? Got questions. Okay, who is this character? I have, I have theories, but I want to know, who do you guys think this character is? 
because I have a strong, strong feeling that Yahweh is back. I think Yahweh is going to be the central antagonist in this one because you already got Lucifer in it, right? Yahweh, I think, is going to be the central, the central villain for this one. And maybe this person is a, you know, an avatar or a disciple of Yahweh. So for you Persona fans, if you're not familiar with Yahweh, um, Yahweh in SMT, which includes Persona, is the Christian Judaic Islamic God who is evil uh smt has a lot of social commentary on everything philosophy religion ideology um curious i want to know so this power the nahabino the nahobino the blasphemous might of the Nahobino. What is that? I got questions. This damn trailer, the a power forbidden by God. So the fact that they keep saying God, Yahweh is in this. Hundred dollars, Yahweh is in this one. It's gotta be. So here's something else too. Being on the rooftop, that's kind of a call back to SMT three. Just just saying. And then where we else? What else we got? Yo, this trailer is so fucking good. There's a Okay, so what is Bethel? They're throwing so many biblical names. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready for this to come out. This is dropping when? Let's see. Already got the collector's edition pre-ordered. Uh, November 12, 2021. I'm ready. I'm actually going to be playing through all the original SMT games. Yeah, SMT 1 and 2. And then... Three, four, four apocalypse. Strange Journey, because Strange Journey, I, I really love Strange Journey. Not touching SMT9. I'm not touching that with a million foot pole. Fuck that game. But uh, I'm very curious as to this one. Because this has been what? 2016 was the last time we got a a mainline SMT and that was apocalypse or final. So I think this is going to be a banger. That's my thoughts. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let's get the conversation going down below in the comment section. Are you hyped for a Shin Megami Tensei five? Hey, do you have a pre-order? Did you get the collector's edition? Which I got the collector's edition, the premium edition. I'm so happy I got that. Oh, man, I was stressing about that one. But um, with that being said, let's get the conversation going down below. If you want to take it further, we do have Discord as well as Gilded. Hop in. Let's get the conversation going. And uh, if you want to support the channel, we do have Patreon. We got channel memberships. This channel is 100% funded by our patrons, my channel members. So without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Again, mahalo for, you know, giving a local Hawaii boy, you know, an opportunity. But uh, all that being said, I'm Mikel Casanova, Hawaii content creator. Make sure you sub to the channel. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Share it around. Let's get some theories going, man. Let's talk about it. Anyways, I catch y'all on the next one. Deuces wild. Too sweet. Be the elite. See you on the next one.
Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate your support by those of you who like the videos, who watch and who subscribe. And for those of you who are my Patreon supporters, thank you for your continued support because you help make this possible. If you enjoy my work and you'd like to support what we do, we do have Patreon on patreon.com slash Mikel Casanova. We also have coffee as well as subscribe star. So there's various methods if you want to support the work that we do here. We also have channel membership, so make sure you check that out. That way you get up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes here and first and exclusive content as well. And if you enjoy the work that I do and you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, Mikhail Casanova, Hawaii content creator. I hope to see you on the next one. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell. And all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.